So, tell me about this. Originally, I'm from Texas. I grew up in Amarillo, Texas, which is northwest into the Panhandle. It's um, uh, a great place to grow up. Uh, I lived there until college. I've been writing since about 2014. I um, have always wanted to, to learn to write. I've always been a reader and admired writers and thought, boy, I wish I could do that, but never thought I could. And then an idea struck me one, just one evening and um, I kind of thought about it and said, huh, that would make a, a really cool book if, or a movie, that'd make a great movie if, if this happened. And that was it. I went to bed and I woke up the next morning with ideas just flooding. As it turns out, you learn to write by writing and editing. What would you say was your muse? Um, I think it was the startling experience of trying to write and having, uh, it, it's almost like a miracle. You, you start to write and it's almost as though your fingers know the story and you're telling yourself the story as you're writing it. I experienced the thrill of that and it's, it's, it's like a euphoria that you, the world starts to unfold before you, your characters start to unfold before you and that experience was so inspiring um, that it drove me to keep producing, keep trying, keep producing. How different is Rockwood from uh, from where you're from? It's, it's very different. It's very different. There's 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 a homeness about Rockford which I really enjoy. I love Rockford. I love this area. I know not not a lot of people say that, but I really <laughs> do. There's a lot going on, and it's fun. It's a fun city to me. Hey, uh, as you say that, what what do you love about Rockford? What are the positive things that you can say about Rockford? Yeah. Um, the people are very friendly. The people are, in, in all of the places that I've lived, like as I've grown up and moved from di to different cities with different jobs, the people are so kind. I've experienced that many times. The, the kindness of the people here is, is, is I notice it. It's, it's stark. Um, and then I love, there are so many restaurants. Um, there are... You know, the Japanese Anderson Gardens is such a gem and the conservatory. There's always been a band that we'd go see or, you know, um, a, a, an exhibit that we would go see or something in the arts or that there's just so much, so many little things happening all the time and, and that, that wasn't, hasn't been always true of the places I've lived. So I feel like that there's just sources of inspiration here.